Good morning. It is 5.30. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today we are starting a new project. It is a large colored and stamped patio. There's kind of two sides of it and then we're going to have a border that ties everything together. Have a couple quick shout outs. The first one goes out to Kenneth and he is from Pearl, Mississippi. He owns Elite Beverage Solutions. He sent me out a hat, a nice note, and a decal as well. And then the second one goes to CJ and Nick. They sent me this very cool custom dog bandana. Well, sent it to me for Jade. So we'll give this to her today. I'm sure she will love it. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning, how are you? It's Tuesday, we're getting there, are you? Yeah, same. All right, you're all set. All right, have, have a good day. Have a great day. one, see you next time. Thanks. Bye, how are you? 554 just pulling into the yard. I'm a little bit early this morning. Nobody's here quite yet, but the guys will be rolling in. It's pretty refreshing this year. I don't have that in the back of my mind all the time about the guys showing up or showing up on time or whatever. It just hasn't really been a struggle this spring. It's been quite different. It allows me to think about other stuff. I'm gonna take the little dump truck today. We actually have quite a bit of work to do today. It's a good sized patio. It's kind of tight access on the one side. And I wanna get it all set up today because I wanna pour the entire thing tomorrow minus the border. We got really nice weather tomorrow. It's supposed to be only in the mid 60s. And Friday looks like rain, so tomorrow is going to be our best day and then thursday we'll pour the border and kind of get cleaned up and friday we're going to start a really really big project that's the plan right now bugs is going to need the soft cut saw he's going to go soft cut that patio we poured yesterday that big patio i got a lot of stuff to do i gotta pick up the uh, skid steers from church because snow is over i have to pick up my boat i got a lot of extra stuff to do besides just work I think this still has some topsoil in it. Let me see. Yes, it does. I'm gonna bring this over to my house because I need a topsoil at my house anyway, and I can use that. Ray's here. Ray's nice and early too. Six, six oh one. Why here so early? You just love work. Yeah, me too. I almost forgot. The Mac finally got a new bumper yesterday. That looks so much better. So much better. That other one was just mangled. There was a guy that emailed me. He polishes aluminum and he offered to come in and, and polish all the aluminum, the tank and the steps and the, and the wheels and all that. That would really finish it off. But I don't know, we'll see. It's hard to give up the truck, you know so somebody can work on it. Ray's out of here already. It's only 616. Man, it's nice to have your guys show up early, get out of here early. He'll be on the job, have everything unstrapped and ready to go for me. I gotta start this up. I haven't ran it for a little while. I wanna run it once in a while just to make sure everything's working. Bugs is here. Morning. Hi, Jade. I gotta get Jade's little gift. That's for you. Hey, right on. <laughs> Somebody that's sent that for her. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's cool, thanks. Ray was here at six o'clock. What's that? Ray was here at six. Why? I don't know, he just likes to come to work early. That's a good man. Yeah. Just waiting on Eric and Tino. 625 right now. Eric's here. Morning. Francisco called me last night. Oh, wow. He said he got his doctor to move the appointment up to next week. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's great. So the end of next week, he's going to go to the doctor, and then he's going to start the following Monday. Let's get out of here. There he is. 
Tino's here. He's not even late. Only one minute. Just dump this dirt off real quick. Hopefully it comes out. This topsoil's been sitting in there for about a week. And it rained on it a couple times. Looks pretty soft back there. Come on. Come on. There we go, all right. Yes. That should be enough topsoil. I wanna to fill in all the edges around the new concrete that I put in. Maybe Friday. Just pulling up. What's cool about this job is it's only uh, about five minutes from the yard. Really close. And then the one we're doing right after this is pretty far. Got kind of a steep hill going down to the backyard. Oh, it's not as bad as I remember or I was thinking. So this is the job. We're gonna come in through here. We're gonna lay down plywood, of course, all the way around. And we're working under that deck. And it is gonna be extremely tight coming through here with the skid loader. But this is it. This is part of it. But this is the hard part. So we need to rip all, all this concrete here. And then we're gonna come straight in line with the corner of the steps all the way over and then this is all concrete through here. And then this is kind of the secondary area or second patio. I don't remember how far we're coming here, but somewhere out here. This side is relatively easy. That side is not easy at all. It is gonna be tricky. You gotta be really careful. It'd be real easy to damage something today or hit the house or one of these posts or ding those brand new steps. And I'm sure this has a reinforcement in it. You can tell from the cracks and how it held together. I'm gonna grab the skid steer, start laying out some plywood. What do you mean it's not gonna go through? Oh, you're gonna, like the machine is like- pretty It's gonna go through. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Huh? Yeah. If it doesn't go through, it'll go through this. Nice. <laughs> that too. Awesome. I'll break some, mm -hmm. and then I'll bring the bucket, throw it in, I'll break some more. You just have to throw most of it in the bucket by hand. It's gonna take a while. Yeah. If you die, you can have off tomorrow. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Be but be days. back on Thursday. You see the hose just going like this, yeah, right. washing stuff, oh, right washing the buggy. <laughs> you can't see anything, just the hose. Yeah, just the hose like lifting up and saying, <laughs> I'm like, raise here. Raise here. Here we go. Just gonna go slow. Slow, slow, slow. It's definitely gonna be a challenge today. That's gonna be the process. Break a little, load a little, break a little, load a little. We'll get it eventually. I just don't wanna damage anything.
He doesn't know how to do it though. <laughs> there. Yeah, dude. there he does. Now take that <laughs> and you tap that in. Take the end of that. Take the end of this? Yeah, you just Push take the in. end of this and you just tap this right here. Like this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's very easy. Oh, I will get it out. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get it out. You don't worry about that. Okay. I know you can. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Why would he put it that far away? <laughs> oh man. Maybe he's just mad at me. It's because I told him to move it so he parks it three blocks away. That's far, right? Yeah, I know. Were you mad at me? You just decided to park uh, three blocks away? I didn't know. I wouldn't want to get yelled at again. And then this fire hydrant was right there. So I was like, man, I guess I'll just park over there. And it's four feet away from each. each That's side. really far, though. You got to bring it. Like, just come back up just here. Go right by those bushes right there. You can go over there, yeah. Let's try to get this piece off. Uh -huh. Grab the sledgehammer. That was in the truck? Yep. Time out. This was in my truck. Yeah, we never used it. I never bought this. No? This is not my sledgehammer, Eric. Have you ever seen this sledgehammer? No. No. This is a 20 pound sledgehammer. This was not on the truck. Yeah, but this is an amazing sledge, that's yeah. for sure. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Well, let me let me grab it with the beak and just see what happens. Okay. I'll go real slow. I'll just grab it real lightly and then just pull a little bit. And if it starts sliding, if it's stuck and it starts ripping the whole house down, I'll stop. Okay. Eric, watch everything. That whole end's got to come off, yeah, the, right, yep. like one foot. Okay, Eric, give it to me. And we finally got it dug out. Finally. That took a long time. It's 10 after 9 in the morning right now. We've been working on that little area for a while. That was a real pain, but we got it. I got a line chalk. I got a string set for height. Everything's working out pretty good. Everything's dug low enough in here for a few inches of gravel. At least a couple inches of gravel. So I'm going to lay out the rest of the patio all the way over and start digging all this out. Ray went to go dump the concrete. He's gonna bring back a load of gravel. And then whenever he gets back, we can kind of start grading our way out. The formwork here is not complicated. It's pretty straightforward and easy. 
it's just a matter of you know getting out of this tight area this took a lot of time but honestly it went pretty good I was able to beak some of that out and that saved us a lot of time watch the last trip boom <laughs> <laughs> be... no 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 <laughs> That's the outside line, and this is all border here. 16, 14 or 16 inch border, something like that. The guy made me a nice drawing. Yeah, he works on CAD or whatever. He made me a sweet drawing, look. Oh, that's nice. I know. Like blueprint and stuff. Yeah, that's nice to have. Hell yeah. That way he doesn't have to come out and ask a bunch of questions and we know exactly what to do. We'll put a border here, right in the middle of the window, put a border coming out and then border, and then we'll pour this one in the morning and then this one in the afternoon where it's shade. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to hang plastic down here and all the way around because those flower petals are gonna wreck the concrete. Yes, they are. If they're still doing that tomorrow, which I'm sure they will they be. Will. I'm gonna pull the Mac up and load up. Should be able to get all that dirt into one load. Oh, Mac looks so much better with the new bumper. I don't like the rusty bolts, but it's an old truck. Not everything's gonna be perfect. I'm calling Ray, he's been gone for a long time and the dump's only six minutes from here. Is everything okay? Yeah, they just took a long time just to get me. We got to dig this okay get all this loose stuff and then we got to dig this corner and then we either got to break this out or something with that one stepping stone just put one on and we'll grade this and that yeah. and then we'll f form the rest and then we'll grade the rest man that's what i was just about man. to say finally <laughs> Four oh, hours to get oh, a load of gravel? Oh, four hours. Man. I don't know how long that was, but it honestly, was like, it was, like it was about four hours, hours right? Yeah. I mean look at yeah. look at this. That's horrible. It's all dug out. I beat that thumb. Uh, they knew I was there. I, I don't know what me, I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know. They used to be on top of it. <laughs> you were beeping at the loader guy? Yeah. He was like just looking at me. I was like, man. I'm sorry. I'm just, I gotta hurry. Yeah, you know? just trying to get some gravel. You guys sell gravel, right? All right, we're ready to start grading. We'll grade this side first. Bugs will be here shortly to start compacting. He's gonna be so happy as soon as he gets here, he'll be able to run the compactor. Wow, guys, yes! <laughs> yes! I'm gonna dump this in the Mac, and then come over and dump the gravel out of the tandem, and then you can take the Mac and go dump this dirt, come back. But call me after you dump the dirt in case we need more gravel. It'll be close, okay. but I'm, I'm not exactly positive at this point. Gravel's here. I'm dying first on the job <laughs> and then you can die five or six more times in and out and then we're in the clear if this happens when it's when we're pouring that's gonna be bad dude I know, it looks like snow. You know, come by the truck, we'll get the compactor in the bucket. Just moving the tandem, I'm gonna load up that excess gravel real quick. Start sweeping up, we'll pick up some of the plywood. We gotta compact and set the border, but it's going good. It's not even noon yet. So it went 
faster than I thought it was going to. This is gonna be a really nice profitable job. Really profitable job. Eric's in the back setting the border. Bugs is still not here. Tino and I are cleaning up the street and the driveway. Then we'll get this plywood all cleaned up. And then we're pretty much what he just called. He's like, I can't find a job. So I was like, just go home. We don't really need you here anyway. And, <laughs> and he was really happy. Oh, we got to sweep all this grass now with the uh, power broom which works really good for taking this kind of stuff out of the grass. So the only thing I got tore up a little bit is the corner, but I always tell the customers to expect that. Wherever we turn, it's gonna get tore up. No ruts, but it's matted down. Overall, everything's good. All the stepping stones are perfect. Everything is ready. So this patio is all set. We just gotta put reinforcement in, felt, rebar into the foundation. This side is 100% set. Eric's been working on this. So that's a stamp border in a completely different color. So that border will run all the way up to the step there. And this isn't in the plan, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the border right here too, right in the center of that window. So we have two pours. It's integral color. It's too big to pour all at once. It's too much stamping. So we're gonna use integral color. We'll pour this one first and then we'll have a border of a different color just to break it up a little bit, just in case there's just a touch of a color difference or a texture difference. You can always, almost always notice that if you just put a shut off and then continue stamping. So I'm gonna talk him into that for sure. Plus it'll look nice kind of splitting the two patios in half. What do you think, Eric? I, like I don't know if he's home. I'm gonna go see though. His office? Yeah, that's his office. Yeah. Was he in there? Oh, you can just check I'll just peek in. Yeah. Hello. Hi, how are you? Frank? Good. I'm surprised you didn't come out all day. You've been busy. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah? Just... Making easy money in there? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so everything went good. Yeah. Amazingly and miraculously, we didn't damage anything. Because <laughs> it, it was really tight in here with the yeah, skid loader. I'm really tight. Was. So what I'm recommending is take the border and then run a border straight through here too. Right into the middle of the window. So this border will come here and then I'll make a return to the house. I think it'll look really nice too. It will. To have a band in the middle. It'll it'll break up the two areas. Yeah, pretty much everything's to no, the original original plan exactly, except we're just gonna add a strip that it's not an extra charge or anything. I'm just doing it for oh, I appreciate you know it. Yeah. um practical reasons. Yeah. So we'll get it done. It's gonna look super awesome, right Eric? Yes sir. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna measure my beard seriously. Seventeen. It's inches. It's ten oh, inches. Right. No, when the long, when you pick it long. Oh, you mean when you use the straightener? <laughs> no. He's the straightener. He does. And he it goes does. seventeen. He does. He it's only. Curl. It's hey, a, He gets the curl. You curl, curl it. it. Yeah. Tell us the yeah. truth. No. I know he doesn't curl it because this kid has really curly natural hair too, yeah, just like his beard. Yeah. Yeah. We are all cleaned up, done, and ready. We laid now on a plywood path for the power buggy in the morning. Unfortunately, I won't have bugs for the second pour. But it's mostly in the shade anyway. It's not really that big of a deal. I'll see you at the yard. I'm going there right now anyway. 120 right now. So that job went quite a bit faster than I thought it was going to. I thought we were going to be there till 3 o'clock minimum. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Yep, adios. I'm gonna go to Schmidt's. She wasn't answering her phone, so I'm gonna run over there and make sure all the color is ordered. I'm gonna pick up some color hardener and release. So we're all set to finish that job. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Just pulling up to my house and I see I got more packages. I've been ordering stuff. I don't know, I've been excited about stamping concrete again. So I got another set of stamps on the way from Proline. And I think this is some stuff from Proline. Cool, let's open them up. Let's see what we got. All right, we got some skins. All right. Looks like they sent me some swag along with the tools. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Proline decorative concrete systems. That one's definitely not gonna fit me, but that'll fit one of the guys. Got a handle. It's just some two foot long uh, texture skins and what these are good for since they got straight edges you can take 
both of them and when you're stamping up against a wall line like say that's a wall line you can have one guy go right down the wall line and stamp texture all on your wall line one after the other just like this that's the Inca actually those are both Inca and then <laughs> I got one of these here and what these are for is when you're texturing along you know with a small mat along a wall or whatever you can use this like this instead of smacking it with your hand I've been using my hand for the last 20 some years and uh, it's not pleasant so very cool tool right here the Billy Banger and we got a new stomper which was needed you guys saw my other one it has a big bulge on the bottom and that is not cool man it's like Christmas I love tools absolutely love tools especially brand new stuff that's solid too there's no air in there so that's gonna stay flat the brick form one I got has a big bubble in it so that's that box this I know what this is already this is pretty cool these are custom victory outdoor services stamps so you can see the lettering's inverted so when you stamp it it'll come out straight that is super cool got a couple of those and then look at these <laughs> super cool little texture skins man that is so cool got, what i got three of these a couple of these and i'm not sure what's in the other box let's open it up all right i got a another stomper the big one the 16 inch so now i got the 16 inch and i think this is a 12 inch 10 or 12 inch proline makes all kinds of stamping tools anything you might need for decorative concrete they got it definitely check out their website so that's the inca texture in the two foot strips and this is the regular texture that you would use for like your asher slate we will be using these tomorrow so they came just in time i am digging all of the proline tools so far I really haven't been this excited for stamp concrete in a number of years. That one will be in use tomorrow right away. That's super cool. I like getting stuff and being able to use it immediately, which we're going to be able to do. I'm collecting, a, I'm gathering a pretty nice collection of stamp tools this year, and I plan on keeping going. So I'm driving, you can see it's 77 degrees, 76. It was just 82 30 seconds ago. So they were talking about this all day. They call it a pneumonia front. And it's a big cold front that comes through. So you can see it's just dropping as we go here. It got really windy. Pretty cool. And it's supposed to drop to like 65. So I'm running to the bank now. Uh, I just ran over to um, Schmidt's and Rivcrete. I got the color from Rivcrete. The integral color, Schmidt's was out of the yellow granular. So I ran over to Rivcrete, brought it back over to Schmidt's for my tomorrow load. That's pretty cool. Just dropped 10 degrees in like a minute. There we go, it keeps going, 71. I'll check it again when I get to the bank. I'm headed to the bank now to, uh, to make a deposit and pay some bills. So I hit 67, that's more like it. I'll take 60s over 80s anytime. Okay, finally, that is gonna end the day. I'm gonna go home and edit. Autumn is back working for me again, but I'm way behind on editing. I probably have 40 plus hours of micro SD cards, the footage on the cards uh, to edit right now. So I'm gonna be editing, Autumn's gonna be editing, but we'll probably see her on the job site regularly starting next week. Mm -hmm.